Hey, what is up you guys? It's Dustin and I'm back with another video and in this video I want to talk about James Charles and his creepy new song. They say insanity is to do something about a million times and hope it comes out differently. Now if you guys know anything about James Charles, it's Coachella season and he was out at Coachella and he just recently posted a TikTok with his new song and I want to talk about it because I feel like I have some tea from yesteryears that just suddenly became relevant. So if you are here for this mess, stay tuned to this video. So this wasn't even the video that I was going to make today. I'm working on a video about why people do not like Sharon Osbourne. But I was scrolling TikTok and James Charles' video from Coachella popped up with his new song. And my flabber was gasted to say the very least. Now I'm not going to get into the nuance of why I don't like James Charles and why I don't support James Charles. And why I believe that he's gotten away with things for years. There's tons of videos out there. And you did it at my birthday dinner. I have a ton of videos myself on that whole thing if you'd like to know. If you don't, just Google my name and James Charles. But I wanted to come on here and talk about the lyrics of this song because they're creepy for one and two I think I may have stumbled across some old tweets that may be relevant to this song and why it was written so first let's get into the lyrics they say insanity is to do something about a million times and hope it comes out differently I don't really know how more blatant he could be with saying this to do something a million times and hope it comes out differently he has done this a million times. How many times have we heard of James Charles going up in straight men's inboxes to try to get them to hang out with him or go on dates with him? And if you remember in the past, I called him out for changing his gender on Tinder to try to meet men. So I would completely agree that if you do something a million times and hope it comes out differently and it doesn't, you might be the problem. Let that sink in, James. I guess that I'm insane. Are you entertained? Now I hate to give people like James Charles credit, but I will say that this song actually does sound good. It's a lot better than when he chose to sing God is a Woman. But no, James, I don't find your antics funny, entertaining, or humorous at all. You've done this for years at this point. You're literally a menace to society. And now you went and made a song about it. Like you've literally made a song about why straight men are into you. Do you not see that that might be a mental illness, that there may actually be something wrong with you upstairs? It's mental illness, isn't it? Maybe I'm wrong. You guys let me know down below. Cause you said I was beautiful, that your emotions were available. Yeah, the long nights, long flights, you were feeling it. <laughs> like... I am sitting here trying to gather myself to try to figure out what I want to say because the level of desperation in this song. I'm desperate. The song sounds really, 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 really good. It does. I, I, I hate that I even have to say that because I do not like James Charles. I, I honestly can't stand him to be completely fair and honest. But like, why would you make a song like this after all the allegations all the things that have been said about you, all the videos that have been made about you, all the tweets you've had to make addressing things, all the time you've put into trying to get away from this, why would you now, all these years later, come back and be like, I'm going to write a song about one of the straight men or some of the straight men that kind of declined me and I'm going to give them their karma and we're going to get into that. And I say that because James Charles knows that people are going to try to figure out what the backstory is of this song. They're going to want to know the lore. They're going to want to know why he wrote this song. This is him trying to pull people back into his life because he wants to feel relatable. I just feel like it's really, really, really exceptionally creepy that he thinks that this is okay. Like this is not okay. Like luring straight men into conversation is okay in a normal thing. We should normalize that. How about no? Then you promised that I wasn't an experiment. You said you've never done this before. Say your breath said you want this for sure. Now we talked about how James Charles has tried to get away from the Hay sisters, the Bi sisters, all that different stuff to try to rebrand himself and get away from all this stuff that has taken place over all the years. And we all know that I myself am not ever going to let that happen. But with that said, even with the rebrand, we all know that James Charles still has children that follow him. And I don't really think that they should be listening to lyrics like this because if you listen to this, it's extremely suggestive. And why would James want to be with someone in the first place where he could possibly be an experiment? That right there tells me that he's trying to talk to people that are questioning their orientation. Like, why is he doing that? He said that he was not going to do this before. He said in multiple different videos and multiple different instances across social media that he was not going to do this anymore that he was not going to try to go for straight guys i just 
just met her, so I'm not there yet. No! <laughs> dream, dream social media threesome. Dream threesome. Whoa, yeah. okay. Hmm. Me, Cameron Dalla, Shawn Mendes. Not bad. <laughs> okay. Are you visualizing it? Yeah, I get it. Where would you be? Oh, no. Like, in the middle, like Eiffel Tower? No, just sucking both dicks at the same time. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. That's extremely dangerous for somebody like James. He could end up hurt or killed. That is not something that you play around with. And now he's went and wrote a song about how he's done it over all the years. This is bizarre. So I said, can we go to bed and... You said, can we just be friends? <laughs> I'm sorry, I've been trying to get away from ad hominem attacks lately, but James Charles absolutely deserves it. This is so weird. He's writing a song about him and straight men, and it's still going to be listened to by children, and he's talking about going to bed. Got a bed with your name on it. So now I guess we need to get into the little conspiracy theory I came up with about James Charles. Now, if anybody knows me, they know I have receipts on James Charles for miles long. When I say I have a vault, I have a vault of James Charles receipts. So I was going back and I had some favorited that I kind of think line up with this song, specifically because of the lyrics. So let's get into it. So I believe this was back in March of 2018. James Charles tweeted out and said, a very famous social media boy got flirty with me a few months ago and told me I was beautiful. You said I was beautiful. Sent me photos and videos and also tried to book a flight out to LA to come hook up with me. Long nights, long flights, you were feeling it. The whole time he had a girlfriend and I made it very clear that I would not hook up with him. This sounds eerily familiar to this song, given the lyrics, doesn't it? He went on to say, while he was in a relationship, but he literally said, she's a huge fan of you and she knows I'm not straight. She'll be okay with it. But because of this message, I assumed they were in an open relationship or something. That's when all the stuff started happening. He ghosted me the next day and two months later, he unfollowed me and I messaged him asking for nothing more than one final conversation for closure. But he was a huge douchebag about it and told me not to tell his girlfriend. After thinking about it for several weeks, I finally decided to message her this morning and FaceTimed her to tell her the entire story. Although I'm not proud that I participated and didn't stop anything, I'd rather admit my wrongdoings to her and look like an ass than her be in a relationship with a boy who is an ass. See, I kind of understand why James Charles would message her and tell her that she's dating a pig, but part of me also wonders, was he just trying to out him? I don't know. You guys let me know what you think down below. James went on to talk about the conversation that he had with this girl and he said, she was very surprised and overwhelmed and apparently knew absolutely nothing about any of it, which made me feel even worse. She was thankful that I told her and wanted to confront him. She was skeptical, but I told her I was there if she had any questions or needed anything. A few hours later, I received these lovely text messages from the boy and both of them blocked my number. Not only am I disgusted, but I also feel horrible that such a wonderful girl is in what seems like an amazing relationship to a horrible boy. Now, now let's read these messages because these are very, very problematic. Now I don't know who this person is or do I, but there is a lot of speculation out there as to who it may be. It's not my place to tell you guys eventually, maybe it'll come out. That may be this guy's karma or maybe James Charles wants it to be. So this person said, goodbye, I am blocking you now. I've never been with that gay shit. F out of here. And James Charles replied and said, I can't believe you're acting like this. All I've asked for over the last two months was one last conversation for closure and you chose to ignore that and be a douchebag. So I told your girlfriend who is amazing and beautiful and who can do way better than you. And then there's like the N word and a whole bunch of other stuff. But the main thing I think we need to get across here is James, you are not owed closure. Nobody owes you closure at all. You're not owed anything. You should have walked away from this when you knew that this person was in a relationship and both of them weren't talking to you about this, you, in my opinion, knew how shady you were trying to be. James then went on to say, I'd love to expose this person for the absolute piece of shit he is and for saying the N-word, but technically I'd be outing him and that's definitely not okay. I offered to speak to him about his sexuality if he ever needed help. I just hope his girlfriend figures it out. And here we are again with James Charles trying to tell people what their sexuality is or trying to help them distinguish what it may be for them when that's just absolutely not his place. You should not be trying to get in bed 
bed with people that don't fully know their orientation or they don't want to admit it because that can be a very dangerous situation. And then James replied to someone and I don't have what it said, but he said, sigh, sad to say I can't expect more from an Alabama boy. So he gave just a little bit of information. You do with that what you will. Which brings me to his final and last tweet about this. He said, I shared that story earlier because I felt like it had an important message for you guys not to expose him. As I made it very clear, if you figured out who this person is, please don't harass them. Don't stoop down to their level. Karma will come back one day. And I'm not saying that this song is about this situation. I'm just saying that it feels like it. And it's just weird to me that all these years later, Jojo Siwa comes out with a song called Karma and James Charles is at her party. I know that's a reach. I just think it's funny. But I want to know what you guys think about this whole entire situation. Although the singing in the song is great, the lyrics are weird, especially given that kids may listen to it. But if you made it this far in this video, leave me the clown emoji down below. I feel like I'm using that a lot. And we have to use it, especially since we're talking about James. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. Please don't forget to let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. But with that said, I hope you guys all have an amazing day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.